Hello, it is Seahawks fan with another Go Battle League video. And today I got the Ethereum Tornadus with the new Bleak Wind Storm. Now, it's definitely not the most recommended Pokemon to be using, but it's something I want to try out and show off, showcase why you don't need it, but what it can do. Dust is a, I think, a four or five turn fast move. I think it's four turn. So it takes a while, but it is a very strong flying type move. And Bleak Windstorm, a two bar charge move with a chance, well, with the attack drop of the opponents. And also, I have Focus Blast for the potential one shot on steel types, rock types, some of the nice weaknesses of the flying type tornadoes and I bring in my shadow hitmonchan this is a pretty pricey pokemon to build but uh I'm gonna use it and already taken out two pokemon in a pretty good position and that's a win I was going to counter down before they take me out but now we have a Goliath score, a more of a neutral lead, going to shield up the first move because I'm going to get that attack drop, so that is just smart, although I am being down the shield, but I want to keep alignment, be able to have the ability to bring in something good in case I get countered, which I do, but... I land the Focus Blast, and now they're on the last Pokemon in Vorizion. I also have Guzzlord, an incredibly high health Ultra Beast. Definitely recommend getting this dragon in Great and Ultra League. Great League is it's difficult to find a person with a Great League eligible one. You gotta, you may need a trade for it. But, uh, well, Tornadus comes in for a couple gusts to take out the Verizian. This is a pretty, pretty fair matchup. They're going to be just throwing Stone Edge straight away. No, ga no games playing around. It would be a big nuisance if they were playing games. Am I going to double shield? Yes, I am. Another Stone Edge, and they bring in Tapu Fini, which is actually a bit of a problem for me. But let's go for the Bleak Wind Storms. Going to survive this Surf. Thankfully, it's only a Surf. And I'm a little risky, but I do throw that one last Gust for some extra damage. I get the last Shield, and now I can bring in Shadow Hitmonchan. And I don't want to take a charge move, so I throw the Ice Punch. Electric Punch would have been fine. And they try and catch a move on the Cobalion. But no. I mean, they, they were not in a winning position. And now we have another Venusaur. They stay in because Sludge Bomb will do a lot. And... Well, now they can just bring in Giratina after they've taken some nice damage. Nice chunk of health off of me. And Guzzlord can come in. It's going to take respectable damage from the Dragon Claws, but it's got a very big health pool. And now I will throw my own Dragon Claw and I get a KO. They have a Obstagoon. Well, the stop Sagoon is not going to like the counter user. And I've thankfully had them throw one last move. Bit less energy. Counter. Just going to be too much. But I can swap into the Tornadoes to get some extra gusts in. No need to shield. And in the even shield scenario of two apiece. Unless he had three moves even then. It was, it was not in there. Not, no, no more chance for them to win. We got another Venus War. Getting some good matchmaking. Easy, easy leads for me. Which is very helpful in trying to showcase this Tornadus. 
The bleak wind storm does get shielded. Oh, it doesn't actually. I was wrong. Going to be sacking the tornadoes to bring in the shadow hitmonchan. And I can shield up and they will probably swap out. They swap into the Charizard, mighty Charizard. Not going to appreciate Thunder Punch. And after I get another shield, I can just bring in the Mighty Guzzlord. Or are they going to... Nope. Just going to bring in Guzzlord. Not trying to risk them getting a farm down. Not enough health left to get you another move. Although they may not know that. But the Dragon Claw from the Guzzlord brings them down to red health. And they conceded the battle. Either they close their app, is my guess. But, uh, yeah. Another win for the team. Plenty of counters to this Tornadoes. And you are about to see a fumble by me. Going to throw the big bleak windstorm. And I don't, I haven't used Overquill ever. I had no idea it had a Ice Beam. Otherwise, I would have shielded because uh, that a bit more damage. I do unfortunately shield Aqua Tail. I may survive that. Although because I shield it, I am able to reach this bleak wind storm for the Polywrath. We both swap at the same time. I'm really annoyed. I wish I had uh, swapped into Guzzlord. Would have been just would have been fine. Able to take all these hydro cannons. Although now. The Guzzlord position up against Polyrath is not going to be it. And they do get to another Hydro Cannon, the power of Swampert. I don't think I would have been fine. Even if I didn't take that one last Hydro Cannon, but just not a good, just not good, not a good swap. Okay, next battle, we got the Mighty Polyrath in the lead. Of course, going to be careful and watch out for the Icy Wind. Going to expect that to be thrown ASAP. They are going to bring in a Steelix. Well, let's throw the Focus Blast. Here's the chance. Brings them down to Yellow Health. The power of an Icy Wind debuff. Kept the Steelix alive, but it's actually kind of helpful. Thankfully, my Hitmonchan is good enough IVs to be bulky enough to survive the Psychic Pings and Breaking Swipe, but now I can unleash a couple Thunder Punches. Going to be able to grab a shield with the second move, and now Guzzlord can come in. Going to be throwing the Dragon Claw, just trying to get a move out ASAP. But time's up. We can gust down the Polyrath. Have a bleak wind storm ready for the Jellicent. Kaboom goes the Jellicent. Now we got another Polyrath lead. Definitely better answers to Polyrath, but the, using this new legendary, well, the, the new move is pretty fun. Priscilla comes in, going to get a debuff, and if they land a Moonblast, it won't one-shot, even with, especially with the, the debuff, but it is a future sight, Cresselia. In these scenarios, I am happy to run a uh, future sight and Moonblast. But also, Grass Knot is very handy, so. Well, Future Sight Grass Knot, definitely very useful also, but uh, this, this scenario, nope, not good. They do have a shield advantage, but with losing the tankiest Pokemon on the team in Cresselia, and now they're even shields, they're going to be taking another Dragon Claw, and I'm going to go for it. Just just a uh, guzzlord sack at this point. Bring back Tornadoes. And it is a Charizard in the back. 
is Charizard is not going to appreciate the Thunder Punch I unleash. And I'm going to big brain play them because their best chance was shielding, getting me to shield the Dragon Claw and then landing a Blast Burn. But, uh, nope, I called that and I get the knockout. Hope you enjoyed the video. Hit the like button if you did. Subscribe for more daily Go Battle League videos. Let me know what Pokemon you want to see me try out. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.